So you already had your hymnals open, so we're going to do a responsive reading on page 788. That was a very beautiful song. I think it will go well with the sermon today. All right, I'm going to read the light print, and y'all are going to read the dark print. 788, love. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become as a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I can remove the mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. And though bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. But whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in the heart, we prophesy in the heart. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is hard will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know. And now abide faith, hope, love. These three, these three. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Amen.